Thanks for staying with us, everybody. On Monday night, January 13th, you know, Lake Fun Arena right here in New Orleans, a tremendous Mid-South event starting at 7.30. Ted DiBiase against Dick Murdoch, take fifth. You'll see Jake Roberts challenge Dick Slater for the North American Heavyweight Championship. Dr. D.C. Williams collides with Mad Dog Buzz Sawyer. It's Terry Taylor against Humongous. Ricky Gibson against the Mass Superstar. And the Bruise Brothers will go against three men. Sir Oliver Humperdinck, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, and the Cuban Assassin. Plus, ladies and gentlemen, you see Al Perez and Brett Sawyer in tag action and much more. At this time, let's hear some comments from the number one masked man in all the professional all over wrestling. the world, and I come to Mid-South Wrestling, and they give me a rock and roll star to wrestle. A Gibson. Fame from the Gibson family. Rock and roll, guitars, loud bands, and everything. This is professional wrestling, Mr. Gibson. When you step in the ring, you leave the cymbals, the drums, the guitars, and the saxophones outside on the floor. You better come to the arena with your mind straight. Don't have that Walkman blasting in your ear because I want you to hear the one, two, three count. I want you to know at the end of the match that you're now a professional wrestler, that you're now not a rock and roll star. And you can call your brother. Maybe he can play you a tune. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear these very interesting comments. You want a good laugh? Three against two, that's a good laugh. Yeah, Humperdinck is going to put on the wrestling tights and step into the squared circle with the Bruise Brothers. But I'm not coming unarmed, Eddie-o. No, I'm going to come prepared because I'm bringing hot stuff Eddie Gilbert and my good friend Gustavo Mendoza with me. He is, as you know, the Cuban assassin, and we're going to kick some tail when we get a hold of those Bruise Brothers, Daddy-o. Ain't that right? That's right, sir. You know, i got to hand it to you how you fool everybody in Mid-South and how you fool the Bruise Brothers because not everybody knows, like I do, that we could very well go there by ourselves and beat the Bruise Brothers because a lot of people don't realize one thing. This man is the greatest wrestler ever to come out of the state of Minnesota. He's better than Steve Williams ever thought about being from Oklahoma, and we will beat the Bruise Brothers without a doubt. I know we will. And now this from the Bruise Brothers. Oh, yeah, Chop, you know, I look at that, that steep man, and we got three men to go get. Three men, you know that? Three. One, two, three. Well, let me tell you one thing, Harper Dick, baby. Everybody been trying to get hold of you. If I get you in that rag, baby, and fall back on them ropes and drop that 285 pounds on you, your toes gonna jump clean out of them boots you got on, baby. Cause don't nobody mess with the blues, brother. We're live and in color, 5185 pounds of steel and sex appeal. And baby, we ain't back and back now, bitch. This 1985, ain't that right, cop? Tell him, honestly. Up on the monster, shine like gold. Huh? Brother? We gon' blood and somebody know. I know that. Cause I say, ooh, I feel good. Don't mess with the two. I'm in Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, somebody stop. I know that's right. 